Look at this. What's up, oh, guys? Augustus arrived to Berlin. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling anything yet. <laughs> I haven't seen any fans, to be honest. So, I mean, I it's early morning, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but last year in Konas, already on Thursday, you could feel the vibe. Here, I don't think uh, right until the games, we won't feel Just anything. wait. Just wait. <laughs> this is going to age horribly, what hey, you just said. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know that. I know that. <laughs> I'm coming once again to Greece, uh, to Greece people, to Greek no, people. No, 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 you don't have any songs to be done, no? Pretty friendly with us. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of foul fans saying they are like silent watchers, silent listeners. But they're looking for Ritas. Everyone's looking for Ritas. Everyone's looking for Ritas. <laughs> green around us, isn't it? Man, they, they said that there will be more on the other strand, but I didn't see any red around the ring. Hey, I, I mean, it's not the game. game. Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. game is later. No, they actually, they're going to march toward the arena from 6 o'clock, so... But what about be... Fenerbahce fans? Because they... I haven't heard nothing. There's supposed to be more of them as well. Yeah, but they out. might be not as organized as somebody else, but we'll see. Closer to the game. Yeah. So far, I can hear Pat Nikos fans already here. Hey, only them. Only them. <laughs> <laughs>
smokes what just happened here outside of the arena. I was doing an Instagram live. And okay, I'm hearing some noise, so that means we gotta go and see where is it coming from. Oh, oh no. Does not look promising, these runnings. Oh yes, security would be appreciated at this moment. Oh yeah, all the security barriers are done. More police is coming. A bit too late. And then guess what happens? Fenerbahce fans come over, they start singing their songs, but the Cards fans start booing. Obviously, two fan bases don't really like each other, especially with what's happening recently. And then we see fans running into the others. Well, uh, I think it was Fenerbahce fans running towards the Fenerbahce fans. And bottles flying, uh, people throwing fists and all that, and then police comes a bit later, so... Woo! Crazy! message from our sponsor Hostinger. Not only save your money but also get the full package when it comes to websites. Build your custom website with their AI tools and templates, mobile builder, marketing and e-commerce integrations. A free domain is included and you can get an additional 10% discount on all hosting plans by using our code BNEWS10. <laughs> Oh my, because of that incident outside of the arena, now the game has been delayed for 17 minutes already. Uh, essentially because of that incident, they don't want to start the game with uh, semi-empty seats. Start is definitely not the greatest of ones. to go or Berlin? Easy answer. There were a lot of expectations for... I, I saw those social media posts. Almost 5,000 Olympiacos fans are coming. You know, a lot of Fenerbahce fans with a lot of locals. The color that I, I saw in the gym was almost all green. They were active on the streets. They took over our fan zone, Basket News Terrace. They took over Uber Arena. And I, yeah. I'm sure that they're going to take over the title game. And, uh, you know, some people think we have a beef with Pau fans, but uh, I actually met, and probably you did as well, guys, that uh, a lot of Pau fans that were actually saying, hey guys, you do a great job. We are the silent fans that we, we are not writing comments and any of this stuff, but uh, so shout we out like to you. all these silent Pau Michaels yeah, fans who exactly. are not uh, approaching us in the comment section, but approaching us face to face to give a feedback. Exactly. I heard a lot of bad feedback about the security. You know when players have random conversations with the referees during the game? I heard fans having random conversations with the security and some 
let's say police officers were talking to fans and some said oh we thought that you know these hooligans or let's say these more aggressive fans exist only in football we weren't prepared for that and things like that i was like what the hell we're we talking about man it's it's so sad to hear these things even costas papa nicolau was quite pissed during the game because there were police officers with with dogs behind the oh, not not maybe not with the dogs but with just dogs a, with dogs they were with dogs behind, behind the, on the dogs bench i think so i think so and yeah. guys players they couldn't even move because of of these security forces although in my honest opinion these police officers were missing in some hot spots between different teams fans and we got this feedback from fans who were in neutral places but you know were let's say owned by big fan bases and didn't enjoy this experience that much and to be honest it was the let's say first domino that started falling uh with the forced entrance by the turkish fans and the product went basically downhill from that you know late uh, start of the game and uh, all the other stuff and you know not great entertainment part and just one time one thing led to another what's up gitas yearly didn't learn any lesson from the team's arrival and i'm hearing that we shouldn't be relaxed for sunday there are some let's say concerns about these big fan bases and what might happen so i have i know that the ex board of expectations of trust that i have now in this local security is really low but I really hope that for one last time and for the first time, they're going to make sure that tomorrow during the title game and before, especially before, we won't have any issues. Because there are some concerns. We just spoke with some Greek journalists who are aware of the concerns that might happen. And it doesn't sound good at all. Do you believe this guy? No incidents tomorrow.